Hey everybody, welcome back. Todd here. Appreciate you stopping by. As you can see behind me here, I'm back home off our little RV trip. Got the RV put back underneath the RV carport. And I'm taking a walk down in the wood yard. I got a few things going on today that I gotta go check out. As you see here, I still got the hickory in the trailer that I split before we left. And I got some more hickory over here on the ground to split up. Kind of excited to get that done. And uh, I got a uh, small job I gotta go check on. Probably three weeks ago, had a family friend call and say he had a couple trees in his front yard that uh, needed to be taken down. A tree service guy actually stopped by and talked to him. Uh, he quoted him a price and he asked him if he uh, didn't have to remove the wood he would do it a little cheaper so he called me knows we do wood and he said hey would you want that wood i said well first off what is it and uh because you know a lot of tree service wood when people are having trees cut down is huge i just don't have the equipment to handle that but i'm always grateful for people to offer so i always ask what it is first and how big it is it wound up being a couple uh what i call hard maple trees where they're not the silver maple they're the ones that turn color like the october maple and uh uh, they're only like 18 inch diameter at the bottom. So I was like, heck yeah, we'll take it. So uh, I told him just have them drop them and grind up all the brush and leave anything that's splittable whole and we'll cut it to our own links. And that's the key because a lot of times when tree service cuts wood down, for those of you that do firewood, you know you get 18 inch pieces, 25 inch pieces, 12 inch pieces. So, and when you're trying to stack it in totes, or stack it up here in the firewood stand or you know any of these stacks you can see i like to be pretty tidy it it, it just stacks better and something else real quick i'd like to talk about here i think uh when you do youtube for a while you just assume that uh, everybody's up to speed on where you're at in your videos and i do have some new subscribers that have come along i appreciate y'all um uh, this little bit about me and how we got started. My name is Todd. We do live here in Southern Illinois. And the whole reason we started cutting firewood was partly we do camp. It was just kind of a hobby cutting firewood. But then when COVID-19 hit and everybody was cooped up and in their houses and couldn't really do anything, we started cutting more and more of it. And uh, for those of you who know, have been following along, I have a son, Evan, he's got a twin sister. Well, Evan took a liking to cutting firewood and we come up with the idea that if uh, we wanted to keep cutting it due to boredom being stuck at home, we would start selling it. And as you can see right up here behind the tree, for those of you new people, he's got a little firewood stand. He has bought a pickup truck. He's uh, paying for all of his own gas and everything. And uh, he's learned a very valuable lesson that uh, Money's kind of hard to come by, and so he's appreciating everything that he's got. So that was the start of selling firewood. Now, I don't keep any money from this firewood. That's all Evan. Uh, the payoff for me is uh, seeing him learn a very valuable lesson. And uh, any of you that do firewood, you know it's not easy. So that's how we got started here. Uh, Evan does have his own channel, Whacking Axes. He, uh, he started that before uh, I did my channel. Uh, now, I know he doesn't do a lot with his channel. He's kind of stepped away from it. He is 16 years old, and he's uh, got a lot of stuff going on in his young life. So I'm not going to push him on that. I have never been a camera person. always ran from cameras. So there's very few pictures of me in my young adult life. Uh, but I overcame that fear out of the love of this community. Uh, when Evan stepped away from YouTube for a while, uh, I uh, started my own channel. Todd's outside again. So here we are. Um, and as I said in an earlier video, I don't have fancy equipment. I don't have fancy editing. Uh, kind of what you see is what you get. I film everything with an iPhone 10 and it's not, uh, the best footage, but it is what it is. So for those of you that have stuck with me and came along on the journey with me, I appreciate you. So that's kind of a little bit of how we got uh, started on firewood and uh, how my channel came about because of all you that uh, I really enjoyed interacting with through Evan's channel and commenting and 
just uh, learning. I mean, this is a great learning experience, YouTube. So enough yapping about me, kind of bringing the new people up to speed. I'm gonna get over and check out and see if they've got that job started. If they do, if they're done, I'm gonna bring you guys along. We're gonna go gather some uh, free maple. All right, everybody. As you see, it's already 79 degrees, nine o'clock in the morning here on a Saturday morning. On our way over to check out that uh, free maple score, see if the tree surface has got it done. Would love to have been over there earlier, but it is in town in the middle of a subdivision, so I'm pretty sure uh, the neighbors wouldn't appreciate me over there with the 400C in that bark box rattling their teeth out of their head early in the morning. So we'll bring you back when we get there, see if they've got anything done. Well, small change of plans here. I just drove by the house and uh, looks like he's actually talking to the tree service guys right now. So obviously they didn't make it over yesterday and that's okay. Uh, looks like they're getting ready to start. Um, so we'll just come back later. It might be something I get over there this evening or tomorrow morning. So I'm just gonna head back home and it gives me more time to get working on that hickory. Get it stacked in some totes and uh, start splitting. All right, everybody, so I'm back home here. Uh, tree service is just getting started on that job, as you've seen. And the boss was outside when I got home, so I was in a little bit of trouble for going and playing around, but, you know, just joking. Uh, so, hey, uh, real quick, uh, for those of you who don't know, I talked about him earlier in the video. This is my son, Evan, the busiest 16-year-old that I know of. So uh, I asked him if he would do a little interview here, a little uh, cameo. So, uh... Evan's working 40 hours a week now. I just want to talk to him a little bit about what he's got going on. So uh, tell everybody about your job and everything, Evan. So <clears throat> I got a job with um, the school district that I go to. And uh, basically, I just help out the IT department. And if you don't know what the IT department is, it's basically uh, the people who keep up maintenance on all the stuff that has to do with Internet in the school, so security cameras, laptops, anything like that, phones even. Um, so i basically just been helping them out uh, during the summer and like he said, I've been working about 40 hours a week, Monday through Friday. Uh, it's been a pretty good job. Well, he just, just got his first paycheck. Yeah. So he's excited about that. And uh, like I said, he's, uh, he uh, actually got uh, what what makes you proud as a parent is he got referred to that position through one of his uh, teachers you know they were looking for some kids two kids as we uh, is it two of you yeah uh at, at school that would be uh good uh good uh kids to take these kind of jobs and be responsible and uh evan was one of them that got uh that got brought up and he went and uh, got the job so that was awesome so uh He's just got a lot of stuff going on. He's playing sports. He's got, uh, uh, he's playing soccer league on Sunday nights. He goes and uh, does kick arounds with the soccer team uh, during the day sometimes. And uh, girlfriend <laughs> takes a little bit of his time. Uh, so uh, he's got a lot going on, but he's still the boss. So I had to go get him and ask him what code he wants me to put this hickory in. So uh, thanks for doing that, Evan. I appreciate yeah, no it. Problem. And uh, we're gonna get this firewood stack. So here we go. For those of you wondering how in the world I get firewood up there without equipment, you get yourself one of these, a young teenager, and he stacks it all for you. Let's get stacking.
All right, everybody, that's probably gonna wrap this video up. I know it's gonna get rather long. I did a whole bunch of yapping. Evan got finished up there. We had a visitor stop by and uh, was doing a little talking, so it got kind of slow there, but appreciate everybody watching, coming back, hanging out with me. I appreciate Evan over here for doing a little interview with me. A lot of you guys have been asking in the comments how he's doing. He's just a busy guy. So, Evan, appreciate you stopping by. Anything you want to tell anybody? No. You don't want to tell them that I'm an awesome dad? or I just want to let them know that I'm probably the best boss. <laughs> you see what kind of goes on. Sometimes we get goofing around, don't get much done, but that's, a, that's all part of it. So appreciate everybody watching for all the new people uh just a little back uh back up and bring you up to speed on how i got started and uh for all the people that have been around appreciate you if you guys like this stuff give me a thumbs up i don't usually ask for it hit subscribe and when you set it a lot the same amount of subscribers for a while it makes you start wondering are people watching or are they uh they like what i'm doing so Seeing that subscriber jump up there a little bit is always helpful to keep you kind of energized and keep you out doing this. So appreciate everybody. Until next time, like I like to say, get outside. You're supposed to say see ya. See ya. Someone don't watch my videos. <laughs> see y'all later.